Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and today I have this fun lacy wing project using the bee dye and some other products from the Hedgehog Hollow February kit. I got this idea because I had some fabric lying around, including this lace ribbon and some rickrack and some other things, and I thought, wouldn't it be fun to make a two-tone glittery bee wing? So we're going to take this double-sided adhesive that came in the kit and we'll put it on the cardstock that also came in the kit. And then using those wings, I'm going to die cut out a bunch of wings to get ready to prepare to use some glitter. So the kit also included these two colors, the yellow and the black micro fine glitter. So I'm using this box with a Swiffer sweeper piece of cloth in the inside and then I'm also going to put in a piece of paper. Now, I learned this trick from a friend who uses this every time she does glitter, especially microfine glitter, because it keeps it from going all over the craft room. Now, I'm going to let you know that it still went all over my craft room, <laughs> but I think it was less than if I wouldn't have used this box. So, I'm a believer and I liked it. So the first wing, I'm going to try using that spool of lace that I had, and I'll put it on one of those wings that we cut out. I took off the release paper, and now I'm going to use that black glitter first. I found that the best way is to use the darkest glitter first before using the lighter glitter so that it didn't completely um, overshadow the lighter glitter. So when you start with the darkest first, it just is a little bit easier. And I'm using this Nouveau spoon, as you just saw, to put the glitter on and try not to get too much on there. It's very simple to burnish with your finger. And that's all I really use for burnishing this today. I'm going to now clean up that glitter inside the box, because you can see that some of it does get out around on the Swiffer cloth. So it really is helpful to, to do that. And then I will peel off the lace for the reveal. Look at the beautiful design you can get just using that lace. Now the part that is white here is still sticky because it doesn't have any glitter on it. It was covered by the lace and it is still sticky so you'll want to put something on there. I'm going to use for this one the yellow glitter that came in the kit and we're just going to put it right over the top and burnish that on with my finger. And you'll see that it only will stick to the part that is still sticky. So watch this. I'm going to clean it off, just dust it off a little, burnish that down. And look at the beautiful lacy wing that you get just doing that, if, that technique. It's so beautiful in real life. I don't know if you can actually see the shine and the sparkle from the glitter, but it is so pretty. So I'm going to do another one just exactly the same as this so that I have matching wings and it's okay to use the exact same piece of lace because we're just going to use the same colors. So this you can see already has some black glitter on there, but that's okay because that's the first color I'm going to use again. We'll use the darkest glitter first, spoon a little bit on, burnish it on just the same way that I did before and peel that lace off and you'll see that we get another beautiful lacy wing. And one thing that's fun about this is that they're not going to be exactly the same, but it adds just to the character, I think, of the bee. Now, you could also use these for but butterfly wings. And I saw someone use these um, and just turn it into a butterfly, and that's beautiful as well. This is a fun technique to do with any, actually any winged animal, I think. It would be pretty for fairies too, whatever you have. I'm just going to finish burnish, burnishing this piece here and there you have the other lacy wing. Isn't that pretty? Such a fun technique. And I'll just put that, that uh, glitter back into the jar and now I'm going to pull out some of the other colors of glitter that I have. Believe it or not, I have a little bit of a stash here and then I'm going to use this polka dot stencil 
And in order for it to fit, I have to turn the wings the other way so the stencil can go in long ways. My box wasn't big enough to fit it the other way, but that's okay. Just flip those around. And I'm gonna use this color combination here. It's kind of a, a silvery rose gold looking glitter and then that turquoise glitter, so pretty. And I'll have the colors actually listed on my blog if you're interested. But right now we're just kind of playing around with color combinations and different techniques. So the first one we tried was that lace and now we're gonna do this beautiful polka dot design. I love the polka dot design. This was one of my favorites. So I'll just burnish that in and you actually need less glitter than you think. Look at all that glitter I had extra. And I, you know, it did like to stick to the, to the stencil, but I just take a Swiffer cloth, sweep it all off, not a problem. So you can see that Swiffer cloth is doing a great job catching all that glitter that I would have had going on my surface if it wasn't there, so it's great. One thing I did notice about using these stencils is the paper really liked to stick to that stencil. So it did um, curve my wings a little, but I thought that just kind of added to the beauty. You'll see at the end, this one that I used with the stencil, it curled those wings out so much that I, I just popped it up on some foam tape at the end on the card and it still worked out just beautifully. So now we'll go ahead with that second color. This is the turquoise. I love this color, it's kind of a beachy color. Put that on, burnish it on with my finger and we're gonna have a beautiful turquoise polka dot two-toned glitter wing. See there? It's really pretty. I'm hoping that you can tell as I catch the light how glittery and fun these wings are. Really pretty. We're gonna try, oh, how about this Rick Rock? <laughs> I really love this. I put it on both wings at the same time. I cut three pieces. And this time we'll use the dark navy and kind of a copper color. I did press the rickrack on so that it wasn't pulling up in areas. I noticed that it wasn't completely straight, but as I pressed it down, it, it still did a fine job. I and mean, you'll see how fun this design is on your, on your wings in just a minute. So the dark navy is first because it's the darkest color. And I just sprinkled it on there. And as I pull off that rickrack, I just want you to notice what a fun design this makes on the wings. It's really cute. And the reason I'm using fabric and the stencil and those kind of materials is you, you wanna use something that's not gonna completely stick to the double-sided adhesive. If you try to use paper or a die cut or something else, you wouldn't be able to peel it off of that double-sided adhesive. So you want something that's not gonna completely stick, but that's going to give you a fun design. And that's why I'm trying all these fabrics and stencils and other things. And I'm sure that you have some fun items in your stash that you could try as well. Look at how cute that Rick Rack is. I ended up not making a card out of this one yet, but I'm sure I will. <laughs> soon come up with a card for this one, but I did turn all these other ones into a card and you'll see those at the end. For this one, I'm using that lacy ribbon that I found and I cut three pieces of this as well to cover up. At first I thought I would put some at the top, but there wasn't enough room. So I just put some at the bottom. So there are three pieces and I'm going to do a different color combination. This is kind of like the the muted blue, kind of looks like a denim color, and then I'll use a silver with this one. So these colors, I noticed, they weren't as far apart, they weren't as dramatic, and so it's a much more subtle look. Look at how pretty that is when you pull it off though. I, I will tell you that this ribbon, that was the lace ribbon, was much thinner. And so it didn't give as much of a design. It wasn't quite, and because those glitters were so close together, it wasn't quite as, see there, wasn't quite as striking, but still pretty. 
and fun because you might want that kind of look. So here I decided that this particular stencil would give me such a fun look. There's when I did the first color and now I'm going to put on that second color which is the yellow and that made a fun wing as well. And the last one I'm going to use this lace. I just have a, a piece of lace. I got this from Hobby Lobby and it was th definitely thicker so it didn't give as much definition but it still turned out beautiful. You'll see I used the dark blue on this one and then I'm going to use the lighter ocean blue for the second color. And it was also very fun. Now this is such a fun technique. I hope that I'm inspiring you to give it a try because there are so many different things you could do and different things you could use to make these. Here's a look at all of them that we just made and here's some of the cards that I put together. I used some Nouveau drops for the eyes so that they would be nice and defined and then I put a couple together on a longer card to make for such a beautiful presentation. And I used all the stamps that came in the kit as well and I just love them. So I hope I inspired you today. Here's a few other videos that you might be interested in. And if you do try this technique, I do hope that you will let me know because I want to see what you're making. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.